real barbecue lovers don't need sauce. Because you need a couple of the natural taste of the other. We're making sauce in today's episode. Good Q and good sauce complement each other. If you have bad Q but good sauce, it does a pretty good job covering up all the imperfections. If you have bad Q and bad sauce, you just described 90% of the barbecues I went to. But today's the day you stop being a sad statistic. Now let's go. Now here's why I like this recipe. Everything goes in one pot. Anyway, here's what you're gonna need. One cup of ketchup. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. One cup of water. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One tablespoon each of Worcester sauce and lemon juice. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. Half a cup of molasses. Half a tablespoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. A teaspoon of ground mustard powder. One tablespoon of kosher salt. half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix everything together with a whisk. Once all the ingredients are mixed up, move everything to the stove. Now, just set this to high heat and bring it to a boil. Okay, once the uh, sauce begins foaming like this, reduce the heat down to low and let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Don't forget to stir occasionally. And once the sauce is done cooking, just transfer it to a bowl and let it cool. Once the sauce cools down, I like to put it in a repurposed ketchup bottle. As for today's barbecue sauce, the S stands for Southern and sweet. Grizzly chicken legs, overcooked burger patties, Ribs with the silver skin still on. My barbecue sauce will make any meaty disaster edible. And now you know how to make it. One guy who commented on my video last August. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time.